any favorite shows or movies right now? I don't really watch TV. I'm not a TV person much, but all my friends keep telling me about Top Boy. They said I literally have to watch it. You know, it's good, isn't it? Um, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> beautiful people so i was getting ready to shoot episode four and i'm like wait i'm on youtube and i've never actually done a get to know me so for all of you who have joined me so far in this journey first of all thank you for subscribing liking and commenting on my past few videos i wanted to take this chance to do a 21 question so you guys can get to know me a little bit more so let's go my name is Oyin Kosala, <laughs> which means honey drops in wealth. It is a Nigerian name from the Yoruba tribe. A lot of people call me Oyin, which means honey. So technically when you're calling me Oyin, you're calling me honey. Um, my current married last name is from the Ghanaian Ashanti tribe. Shout out to Ghana. I know y'all doing big things right now. <laughs> and it's A-N-T-W-I, which sounds like Antwi, but it's actually pronounced entry, like the entryway into a room. So my name is Oyin Kosala. Entry. All right, so I get this question a lot and it's a little complicated, so I'll tell you guys the story. <laughs> I was born in Nigeria in 1990. Shout out to the 90s babies. Um, and due to a military coup and a lot of things going on politically back then, we were split, my family and I were split between London, UK, and the United States. So my journey was from Nigeria to London in the 90s. So I'm actually a British citizen and a Nigerian citizen. Um, and then settled in the United States in the DMV area, DC, Maryland, Virginia area um, in the 2000s with my family. Then I did my undergrad in the University of Buffalo, upstate New York, which is where I met my husband, Jeff. <laughs> and then um, came to New York City for my master's, specifically in Brooklyn. I went to NYU. It was then Poly. Now it's NYU Tandon School of Engineering. Um, and so I've been in Brooklyn ever since then. It's crazy to think I actually graduated in 2013 from my master's and that was 2023. It's been 10 years since that journey. But yeah, so home for me is Nigeria, London, Maryland, or New York City, depending on what I'm talking about. Um, so I can't really do three words, <laughs> but I can do three phrases. Um, I would define myself first as a people person. Um, in high school, I used to lead a lot of like community service initiatives on the weekend. In college, I was a re uh, resident advisor, a RA. Graduate school, I was a graduate assistant and a teaching assistant. And even in my career today, you know, I've always been like a manager, executive leadership. I just love being a resource for people. I love helping people out. You know, that's the first one. Um, I would also describe myself as resourceful. I don't know if it's the first generation immigrant in me, <laughs> but um, you give me $100 and you want to execute something, it's going to get done and it's going to get done beautifully. Um, I don't pay full price for any um, of my luxury items or anything, any big purchases. I'm a negotiator. I'm a sample sale girl. I'm a connect girl. So I'm definitely resourceful. And then last but not least, I would say I'm equally left and right brain. You know, I, I'm, an, I'm an engineer by trade. I'm an industrial engineer by trade. So I'm definitely more of like a STEM, mathematics, science girl. But then I also, I'm, you know, I love creativity. I love um, bringing that kind of art, artsy side of my family because I have both like science and math and an art side in my family. And I like bringing that out through, you know, interior design and home decor. And, you know, it's just something that I love. So I would definitely say I'm left and right brain equally. <music> My favorite season is fall. Yeah, I see this little forest green going on, burnt orange. I love, 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 love fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it, the transitional season. Um, it's just such a beautiful, comfortable season for me. Um, I get pretty hot in the summer. I'm just not, I don't like sweating. So fall for me is just like that cool sweater dress, blazer, you know, sets, just like cozy Sherlin. I just love the vibe, the boots, the leather weathers, everything. So fall is definitely a fave. You guys are going to see a lot of content around fall from me. <laughs> My favorite color has changed over the years. I used to be uh, all black 
type of girl like you know and I kind of still am I guess every New Yorker kind of is in terms of like fashion and what I wear however I'm really starting to fall in love with burnt orange first of all it, it's part of fall right my favorite season you can kind of see it here in our home in this floor centerpiece and um I will show this in the next episode but it's the color that we use for our entryway our um entrance door my favorite fashion style is definitely a minimalist style but with a twist you're gonna Notice a little bit of something um, in my style, even if it looks really simple. My favorite home design style is always a blend. I recently heard the term organic minimalism, and I was like, I think that might be it. Because at the end of the day, again, like I loved organic textures and the, the colors and the styles of like Japanese and Scandi and African, but other, at the same time, I don't want too much fuss. I want, you know, functional and simple. The beautiful architecture, I just love it, especially these Brooklyn blocks and the energy, the people, how welcoming they are, how diverse it is. Love it. If I wasn't living in New York City, I definitely would want to be in Copenhagen, Denmark. <laughs> a few people have heard me say this before. I just love the simplicity of their lifestyle, quality design, beautiful architecture, the colors. It kind of looks like this, actually. Um, I just love their lifestyle. I feel like the Scandinavian countries just really get it, you know? Definitely tea, um, hot, cold, either one, but I definitely prefer tea, though I love the smell of coffee. Definitely savory. Anything in the main meal energy. I could skip a dessert. My favorite food is from Jane G's in Philly. It is a spicy Sichuan um, braised beef soup. They used to have it before the pandemic. Um, I remember going to Philly after 2020. I think we went in 2021, right? Um, and they don't have it anymore. I think they turned Jane G's into like a dim sum bar, but I did specially request it and the chef made it for me because they remembered me. I love, 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 love that soup. It's like my dying day food. Um, but also from a cultural perspective, like from the Nigerian side, I love me some ion, which is pounded yam with obe elastico, which is like an okra draw soup, especially when it's really spicy when my mom or my aunt makes it. Love it. <laughs> I love Ashake's new album. Um, truly a work of art, no pun intended. Um, that's definitely on my playlist heavy. And then also, honestly, if you're going to get in my car, just know it's going to be 90s and 2000s R&B and punk rock. I still listen to everything from before. So those are usually, it's either you're listening to R&B 2000s, punk rock, music from 2000s, or I'm listening to Ashake. <laughs> I don't really watch TV. I'm not a TV person much, but all my friends keep telling me about Top Boy. They said I literally have to watch it. You know, it's good, isn't it? Um, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I do plan on binge watching it one of these weekends. Um, usually I'm watching home tours house tours that's all i do i love especially like australian home tours abi interiors local projects never too small my brother told me right before i went off to college to always remember to take a deep breath <laughs> um that's something i still you know remind myself of often it's actually what inspired the app that jeff and i dropped in 2020 around you know the height of the pandemic our drift wellness app it's just a reminder to take deep breaths and i say it to my friends and family all the time because there's this life is life and there's a lot going on even right now with the economy and so much uncertainty around you know what's going on in the world so just that reminder something that stuck with me i've taken it through my adulthood and it allows me to resurface and re-strategize before i make any major life decisions just take a moment. Um, I was watching a documentary a few years ago on less is more, which is the whole like minimalism movement. And I remember there being a quote um, that I, you know, I took for myself as advice, 
which stated that you either change by design or you change by disaster. And that stuck with me. And it's something I say to myself and to others um, in conversation, of course. Um, the way I take that is, you know, either you design a life and you make deliberate decisions so that you can um, adjust with the times. Change is in inevitable, right? Whether it be growing, your health, your career, you know, or anything, you know, your desires. You either design it so that you're ready for great things to happen to you for a improved lifestyle or something bad may happen that then forces you to change. So instead of waiting for these dramatic things in life to force you to change, it's better to just design the life that you want and be deliberate about it with short term goals and things like that. So this is something I always remind myself to make sure to be deliberate about what I want, knowing that, you know, things around me are changing. But how do I create the lifestyle that I want? That's what I kind of gained from that. So it's advice I give myself and to others. Um, definitely doing my nails. <laughs> if you don't see me with a nude polish on as a base, sometimes I give you a little minimalist art, but always classic nude base color on lately. It just makes me feel good, you know, it really makes me feel alive, makes me feel fresh. Um, and my eyebrows. <laughs> you guys know this is my number one thing. If my eyebrows are not done, I'm not in a good mood. <laughs> My guilty pleasure, I know I said earlier I don't really watch TV, but <laughs> I love a good SVU rerun. I'm just obsessed with the whole Dick Wolf, you know, Law & Order SVU franchise. I think it's just the whole, like, the character development is just epic, you know, it's just always kind of on in the background, reruns, new episodes, and I just love me some Olivia, you know? <laughs> A fun fact about me is that I used to have 12 piercings <laughs> um, from earlier. The question about music, like I was saying from the 90s and 2000s, especially I was into punk rock, into heavy metal. And I just, you know, I loved getting different types of piercings. It was kind of my way of like being unique. I wasn't really a tattoo girl, too permanent for me, but I had about nine piercings in my ears and then the others, you know, just all over my body. It's just funny because literally i took it out for an mri i had to you know take out all the piercings to get an mri a few years ago and i just didn't put it back in there's no there's no other reason i was just too lazy to put it back in and then the holes all started to kind of close up and it's just you know it is what it is but i do miss them i felt like you know they really made me uniquely me um i am an industrial engineer by trade i've been in the um operational and system side of the creative industries fashion textile jewelry for the last decade um, and I also have a tech venture studio with my husband Jeff uh, called Digital Park Studio where we launch apps internally um, our first one was Drift Wellness that we dropped in 2020 uh, we also have an app in beta mode right now um, and trying to kind of test it out and looking forward to launching that hopefully early next year um, and last but not least I am a co-founder of Via Asha Design which is an online interior design company with my sister who is in London um, as I mentioned earlier, I bounce between the UK and the USA, and um, I'm supporting more of the operational side of both of those businesses, Digital Park and Via Asha Design. Um, so I guess I consider myself a parallel entrepreneur. I have my career, and then I also have my two um, ventures on the side. Um, what makes me smile the most? Definitely finishing things, going from concept to execution. I love, you know, taking an idea from my head and really seeing it come to fruition. So for example, wrapping up, you know, everything with our condo over the last few months, it's just been amazing to see the ideas from the design boards really come to life. Um, I just love those little details. So really excited for the next few episodes. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any more questions about who I am, comment them below and like and subscribe this video and just let me know what you thought about this in general. Looking forward to sharing the next series with you and see you next on episode four. Bye. <laughs>